If you've been embroidering for any amount of time, you've probably started collecting a bunch of different colors of embroidery floss. And once you have it, what's the best way to store it? Well, my favorite way to store it is by wrapping it on these little cardboard bobbins and then storing it in these cases that are specifically designed for that. Now, the reason I like these bobbins is because they're inexpensive, they're easy to use, they have a hole in them so that you can take whatever floss you're using for your project and you can put it on a ring to keep them all together. And also because they're cardboard, you can write right on them. And so you can write the number of the floss, but you can also write the symbol. So these are some floss that I used many years ago in a cross stitch project. And so I wrote the corresponding symbol from the chart right on the floss so that there was no second guessing when I was going to be doing the stitching. Now, when you're storing your floss in the container, the big question comes up, do you sort it by number or do you sort it by color? And there are different opinions on this. I come down strongly on the opinion that I will sort them by number. And the reason for that is because if I open my box and I'm looking for something blue, I can clearly scan this and see blue, 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 blue. Even though the numbers aren't close, they are all over the place, but I can easily see where the blue thread is. However, if I have a project and I need, for example, number 500, then I can go through in number order and find number 500. If these were sorted by color, I would have no idea where number 500 was, and I would have to try and guess which color was the closest to that, and it would be much more difficult to find. So although there are different opinions about this, I'm strongly on the side to sort by number and not by color. However you sort your embroidered floss, I'm sure you're gonna enjoy using it in all your stitching projects. For more embroidery tips, tutorials, and inspiration, be sure to follow EBITDA Studio. Music